Right, hello everybody, welcome to the uh, CCL round of 16. I believe this is the round of 16. Yep. Um, we've got Sparky73 versus Calcium. Um, <laughs> so Sparky's got these Wood Elves and he plays... Oh, wow. Instant cards. Sparky was played incredibly aggressively in his round of 32 match against the Guinea. And also before that as well. Um, which is how he got his War Dancer minus agility. He just goes all out for the balls, whatever happens. Um, Calcium has seen him come through in two really great games in overtime after he lost the toss in overtime. Um, so, you know, Calcium's do, really battling his heart out in this match, in this match, in this campaign. Uh, Calcium is the higher TV team. Sparky has a Wizard and Eldril. Um, he was 310 TV down, so he used the, the 40 TV of uh, the full 40 allowed by Financial Fair Play to induce Eldril. If I was Calcium, I would have sacked this lineman to make him, you know, think about something to stop that. But, you know, it's it's fair enough that he didn't because Calcium doesn't really give a shit about that sort of thing. Um, but I would because, you know, Eldril is a pain in the asshole, isn't he? Um, personally, I would have done. Um... And yeah, so you, you can see there's a tackle bomber, there's tackle mighty, there's some guards, there's some dirty players, three dirty players. Nice catcher, nice thrower, and uh, there's a wood elf team there. And with me in the booth is Flicky Flack. Hello, hello, thrilled to be here. Glorious. Flackhammer, I thought he was out six foot six, but it turns out he is a mere <laughs> tiny six foot two. <laughs> Oh, that's my wrestling height, isn't it? You always add a couple of inches to uh, to your wrestling height. No, because we were adding the wrestling height to the real height. So I think you 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 are two inches taller than you should be in the game. I've got a feeling. Oh, really? Yeah. I think this is where. I think this is what happened. <laughs> well, I might have rounded up. I think I'm six five in the game. I might have rounded up to give you a six three when you asked my height. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, mighty blow in return. We've already had a death. Oh, Ooh. and now we've got a kill. Could I, he could power up all this? He, he really could. He really could up all that. I would have liked the apple. I don't hate not appoing. It's the first one, but he has a spare. Yeah. I mean, the the point is he's only got two tackle, isn't it? And that is that is half his tackle. Yeah. You can argue yeah. he, he could have screened it and maybe he's should have put to the other side to screen that or something. I don't know. But then you, you want to tackle, tackle another side. Tackle, it's not the dodgiest elves I've ever seen. You know, several, none of the linemen have dodge, so it's one True. catcher, two dancers, and Eldril. Yeah, to be and be fair, it's not like there's three good dancers. There's only two good dancers because one's actually. <laughs> yeah. three. But still, you know, the three important players have got dodge, and then the the yeah. one turner. So like, he's got four great players, though not really because one's 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 more like a ghoul than a dancer. <laughs> he is. You'll be looking to uh, maybe get the ogre on him at some point, and then uh, seeing if he wants to dodge away or not. Yeah. Um. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. Yeah, that's the thing, right? The ones that you care about, they're the big ones. So, um, and th now this impacts his ability to pile on because he could have piled on with a Pommer and then still had the, the mighty blow tackler around, and now he doesn't get to do that as much. Yeah, um, that's also a good point. And interesting that he's got the, this one turn. Like, it's not a natural one turner, it's movement nine sidestep, though, with, with three GFI, so it's very easy to get the push. Um, Calcium only has one stand firm. Uh, and how many sidesteps does he have? Yeah, just one on the auger. Yeah, so he's got one sidestep, one stand firm. So, he w you know, he, he'll be able to defend against it a bit, but at the end of the day, um, even with a, like, you know, with 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 a gaze from Eldril as well, it should be pretty easy to get the, uh, to get the push, the one push that's required. Um, so, yeah, that's a pretty good one turn. So it's interesting whether whether who won the toss here, because normally I would always kick against elves with, a, with like, you know, one really good one turning threat. I would usually kick, try to try to get that guy off the field before yeah, they get I think the one I, chance. I think if I was in Calcium's shoes, I'd be kicking here. So he might not have had that choice. 
Yeah, but then in my game against Kef, my game against Kefog in the semi-final of uh, the season 36, Artemis said he would have received, and, and Artemis's reason was he's probably going to score the one turner anyway. You're probably not going to remove him. So by receiving, you get to beat them up first, and then they'll score back. But in the second half, they'll be down men, and if they've only got like six or seven men, that gives you more chance of actually stopping their drive, turning them over, and winning in normal time. And I thought that was that wasn't yeah, a bad shout at all. So. Who knows who won the toss? Yeah, potentially. It's um, there's advantages to both. Yeah, I never really, I never really considered it before then. But I, after I said that, I thought there, there, there's some val there's definitely some value in that. I, you know, I probably should have considered receiving, and so yeah, I think Calcium should have re considered receiving himself, especially he's got the DPS right. He could really gut this team in the first half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair enough here, Dev. Yeah, you mean that you can just hope that they don't do it. <laughs> yeah, best defensive coach in Blood Bowl, Calcium. So, I mean, he has won two, two overtimes kicking, hasn't he? But again, and, you know, he's been up players in those, presumably. Which does help, doesn't it? See if he can wear that tag. See if he can wear his uh, most dangerous man in Blood Bowl as well. <laughs> Oh, not anymore, some guy. Not anymore. So I think we set up mid midfield here, and the tree is pretty much out of it. I would have said once um, blitz the loner, blitz the kick. I think I would blitz the kick. Blitz the kick with the with the ogre. No, no, not with the ogre. I don't know, it's a long way to go if it's not out. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't mind just blitzing the lone, the line on the liner on the end here. Get a further block or a DP foul. Like it's not good fouling the loner, but you've got thirteen players and two DP, so <laughs> you might as fucking well. <laughs> yeah, you might as well get the boot in. <laughs> yeah, that tends to be um, a weakness of mine is that I wait for a, the perfect foul and I never get it, and therefore I never use my bribes or my dirty players or anything. I don't yeah. just foul whatever's on the ground. I mean, yeah, there's there's, there's times in a place, isn't there? Like, but when you've got three dirty players, then you you probably yeah. want to be more in a ducky kind of mindset of just foul away <laughs> and get up men's. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Doctor Mom Bosco, yeah, calcium loves a foul. Um, yeah, but you know, I, I remember watching a, a game in the playoffs, uh, and it was ducky versus you know ducky had Brett against Skaven. And I personally would have just waited until the perfect point to foul, like, you know, the one turn of gutters and other claw pommers, whatever. And he just he just started fouling instantly. And it, and it paid off massively as he got up loads of men. Um, so, like, you know, with three dirty players, I think you've got to do that, haven't you? Like, especially with humans as well. Like, you know, they're, they're similar to the peasants, aren't they? And they're, they're pretty shit. Like, peasants are terrible. But human linemen aren't very good. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... He's not losing that much. Uh, I know Jim Fowles, but I mean, that's why I don't have three Jim dirty Bob players, though, isn't it? C -Sabs. Like, but if you've got a team with three dirty players and 13 players, then you might as well come Yeah, here we go. First one. In goes the boot. Just a stun, but no send off. Yeah, and, and the stun, the stun helps, right? It stops him getting getting people in front to to stop him moving. Yeah, forward. so we've had yeah a removal, a stun, and the tree is. Pretty much self removed from the drive. Mm -hmm. He's just got to stay uh, away from where he actually is. I kind of don't like going one away from the tree. There, there is the chance to blitz into the tree now, isn't there? It's, uh, it's not like super easy, but like there's the possibility yeah. this turn. If he, if he wanted, he could have, he could have run around and blitzed. Uh, I guess he stopped that. Yeah, so he can't blitz him into the tree, but it means this finger bus. You know, it's a, it's a bit better against a fireball. Like, he can do anything now, can't he, with Eldrill and a fireball or a bolt and elves. Like, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Like, uh, the, you probably don't want to think about the the fact that he's got a wizard at all as calcium here. Because, you know, you'd drive yourself mad, wouldn't you, trying to work out how to defend against it? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, the combination is terrifying. Trying to protect the ball from Eldrill or a wizard on their own, but together. 
It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Like, it, you know, it's just, it's not exactly. It's it's just not what I would have done. But obviously, it worked out being in, an instrumental factor in winning that match. But um, you know, it could it could have gone the other way as well, right? Could have could have had the dirty. I think you only had one dirty player, which is why I didn't like it as much. Or maybe only two. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was only one dirty player, and I just didn't like the idea that you could lose it without fouling a gutter. Whereas here, because you got three dirty players, you can afford to lose one and still be able to foul the dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you really want to do, isn't it? You really want to foul the dancers. Yes. That's, that's Absolutely. The big thing. And we really want to see Calcium running through some elves now. Cause, well, yeah, there's there one. we go. Because <laughs> if you want him to expose Eldrill, you want him to have to expose a dancer. You've got to get through these line elves first to get to those juicy targets. You might even. Could have gone in there, couldn't he? Could have put tackle on Eldrill, this, that, Lorna. Could have. He could have done, yeah. It, it, it's tricky, isn't it? It's so it's so tricky. Maybe he just stays where he is and fouls again. Yeah. More or less. Shuffle around. If you can get another player out here, then there's only seven players to stop him or react. Don't want to be moving. Don't want to be risking the ogre. It's in a nice position. I like the ogre there. Yeah. Don't want to be activating him. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah, with two then. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense because you would play. You're not a crazy guy who would just foul <laughs> with one. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That was, that, was, that was. I always remember that much thinking. It's not what I would have done, but it worked out very well. Oh, he got him. Here overall. So there you go. He gets the cars. And the Double stick. Off. off he goes, but that's fine. Yeah. And again, you're trading a 70k player for a, for a 70k player. So you know, so it's an even even trade off. He's got reserves, so for the drive, it's it's fine. And, you know, it's a player off for a player. The only thing is, of course, it is a rookie, and that could have been a dancer. But you can't hit the dancers, can you? No. Base, so base, now base. that's one less player to protect the dancers fail. and everything. And most importantly, he's still got the dirty player available to foul the dancer if he gets the chance. Three Kaz is very surprised good, yeah. we haven't we haven't seen him go yet. No, he hasn't gone into full uh, full sparky mode. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He's been unbelievably restrained in all of the other matches. He had gone full sparky, and here he is. He has not gone even vaguely sparky yet. Ooh. Big push. There's half the re rolls and still doesn't get him. Now that that is brutal for Sparky because now of course he's only got the one re roll left for the one turn. That makes that yep. really alleviates the threat of the wizard for calcium. That is that is great for calcium, um, and you know he couldn't have re he couldn't have accepted that dub skulls. If you expect if he if he accepts that dub skulls, the lino gets pa gets hit with mighty blow. Eldro gets pummed and the dancer gets fouled. So he had to reroll the double skulls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you cannot accept that one. Oh, I What's do not like one? this blitz here. I do not like that at all. I would have definitely gone. For this guy in the corner here and try to you know move forward more um personally three turns after this yeah i think going middle here is really he's running out of elves a little bit but i really like getting that then you could have got the tree the tree the ogre right forward and you, know, yeah. you could have really pushed quite hard into the into this center area now you, if you, you can still. I mean, he's still pushing base, into this base, area. Base. And he this has got guard stand firm and a right. bodge stepper there and everything. But I don't know. I would have just rather. So he's moved where I would have moved anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then just left a base cage instead of uh, instead of blitzing that guy. It's fair enough, isn't it? And yeah, he's got kick. To be to be fair, when he made the blitz, I thought he had wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty similar to wrestle to me, even though I know it's totally different. But like, there's like you know two blobs of brown and a gap. <laughs> um, so yeah, if that's wrestle, I hate I hate the blitz if it's wrestle. I don't hate it against the. The problem is right, piling on leaves him exposed, um, which okay, he's probably not going to foul them. But if you, if you blitz what? here and pile on, then he's surrounded by your own players and he's where you are, ready to go in. Now, yeah. he, might, now he might fireball or something here, might he? I guess he's going to think about every yeah. single turn. He's got to think about the bolt, the fireball, the eldrill every single turn, hasn't he? Yeah. 
What you need to do if you're getting confused with the wrestle and the kick is um, you can switch to letter. Uh, letter <laughs> no, board. thanks. Oh, no, wizards in. No, thanks. So he gets two down out of four, which is pretty good. And yeah. You, you can get two dice in the ball open. here. You get two guys oh. in the ball even without Eldril doing anything, but obviously with Eldril as well it makes it even easier. He's got he's got all sorts of opportunities, hasn't he? Yes. Um so what do you do? You gears the guard, surely. And then go in the back where I would have thought. Yeah, he's got the gears. Oh, he just blocked his path. No, no, it's just a GFI. I just didn't really need to do that, but he's <laughs> he's done it. Like yeah, it didn't I guess really do anything. He's going for the better, the better. Uh, oh dear! Wow, I don't like the one. No, obviously it paid it's off not. massively. Massively with like the removal as well is even bigger. Um, do you still go around the back for the better scatter? No, it's right in the front. Yeah, I would, I would have gone around the back. Uh, I, I didn't like that one day, but I guess it's pretty good when it works. Oh, and a stun as well. This is brutal. It's all gone for him. Oh, it's a three plus pickup. Like you say, because the tackle's now not in and around the cage, it's not likely to be. Well, it's almost impossible to see the tackle being able to. Do anything next turn? Yeah, it's a bit big problem, isn't it? If that had been like right in the mid, right in the middle after pomming George McFly, um, yeah, it, you know, it'd have been three squares to the right, <laughs> and then he's he's in this area. In fact, that would have even stopped. No, no, that wouldn't have stopped. That would have stopped the route to the ball. In fact, if <laughs> even his prone body would have stopped the route to the ball. Mm. Ooh. No, it wouldn't. He powered him. I don't know. There you go, he's got a ball anyway. Yep. I can't believe the tree stayed down for the whole half. <laughs> so that fun. is rough for calcium. <laughs> he has gone towards the pommer though, incredibly. He has. <laughs> he's literally moved in range of the pom. <laughs> Instead of going away from it. So on a scale of one to Artemis saying it's the worst play ever, that's about Artemis saying it's the worst play ever, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets the dodge out to cover that. He does. <laughs> it's not even a reroll that turn. Disgusting. <laughs> yep. Dear me, what have we got here? Oh, punt. Very nice. Very nice. He could have punted, couldn't he? He could have thought about punting, so but he's got a bunch of That is simply not true. Almost well, certainly a way the of chaining that dirty player on the ball. Uh, not anymore. He's stood up the blitzer. <laughs> ah, fuck off! Do it with the catcher? No. Yeah, yeah. Could oh, change that's the, could the wrong change, angle. Could no. Could change the catcher on. Could change the catcher on. But then you've got a company. It's not great, is it? He's got guard there, though. Yeah. So, so he's got him. He's got the catcher on. And then yeah. he can just block off uh, the dancer, can't he? The dancer on that side step. Oh, it removes Eldra. Yeah. He needs to get the ogre in though, doesn't he? Or he could just move yeah, the ogre no. in to assist anyway and just move the ogre in and then he's got 2D. Or is he a 3D blitz with the ogre, just say yeah, fuck it. I mean he could, yeah. I don't like I don't like rolling a one though. No, I think you go two into two with the uh uh, three into three with the um, the day play once you've moved the auger, but you've got no recovery. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? By you've using just got to hope for a god scatter. So maybe you just maybe you just hit with a dirty player and hope for the pow, and then you then you catch it because of the recovery. Yeah. It's tricky, isn't it? You can't risk the one on the on the auger. You just can't. Can you blitz? You could. Actually, you could blitz with the, the blitz with the catcher. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could. No, no, not not on three. Not on three, though. No, no, not on three. So I think you have to blitz. I think he would be his own recovery, wouldn't he? 
Yeah, I think you've got it. Yeah, so it's, you've either got a blitz on two D, or or stand up the catcher and blitz on three. Yeah, and then recover with the with a dirty play alignment. <laughs> you've got to knock him over at the end of the day. No, I think yes. That's more yeah, you've anything. got to get him on the ground. Yeah, he's gone for the three. Mm. Doesn't get him. Reroll. Oh dear. Six dice. Doesn't get him. Yep. And that's when, you know, if he'd uppled that, if he'd uppled that KO, you know. Yeah. No, he's exactly. Yeah, he's got that extra tackle. Oh, and the tree finally gets up. <laughs> right on cue. I like that he got the dirty player in front of the catcher. It gives him some sort of chance. Yeah. He can just run around with a dancer now. The dancer can just get in, even though he's even though he's edge three, he's still movement eight, so he can still get around no problem. Yeah, it's um, it's a GFI, I believe. If you want to blitz him, yeah, yeah. But he can get there, can he? He can. Or you could just blitz with a rookie. You could just blitz with a rookie lineman. Rookie lino could dodge blitz. Which is still a two plus. Then you, then you, then your cat, then your dancer can kind of run around somewhere safer, or <laughs> he's not <laughs> going to get pawned. <laughs> I can't be giving up mighty blow hits there, Jim, for positional gain. <laughs> That's not going to get you anywhere in Blood Bowl. Absolutely not. So you can you can actually just use this lineman to screen the dancer now, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with the tree. So that's the drive. Off goes the catcher. That's yeah. one nil to the Woodies. Yeah, pretty much. But he's made three counts. An Eldrill could stay out. So you know he could be up against eight men in the second half. He could have a shot here, still calcium. It's not over. It's not GG. Not for the best defensive coach in Blood Bowl. Absolutely not. No. He's just so got a... Just, got a just those two, two little things, I think you've pointed them both out, is that one, losing his tackler early and not tapping him, and the other one was putting his one tackler on the ground slightly out of, out of the play, was maybe the only things he did wrong the whole half, and it's, it's cost him. Yeah, I mean, you know, Nick obviously he could have done both of those things and then, <laughs> you know, had the, had the pommer killed and uh, and it yeah. could have just it could have just failed to hit anyway, you know. So it doesn't mean that yeah. it's it's it. it yeah, absolutely. Shot, you yeah. never you never know how these things are going to work out, and you don't know what would have happened if there's been on. Yeah, it's just interesting that you pointed that out early, and then that's kind of how it how it worked out in the end. Yep. So Kaz has two turns. Just kill as many elves as you can, Kaz. Yeah, just pom pom this dancer, isn't it? Pom the dancer. Yeah. Hit the tree. Yeah. That's pretty much pom the dancer, foul the dancer as well. Is he still gone? Yes. Oh, his dirty player stunned. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh he, no. Could it, maybe he could just three dice this, right? Four assists in and three dice in. And he gets him. But then you then you don't get hit the tree as well, I guess. Oh, just a stun. But that means he might get the dirty player foul next turn. He might. <laughs> might depend whether the tree goes down or not. Whether he gets the DP foul. Oh, Kaz will dodge one. He'll dodge foul. Yeah, if he has to. <laughs> yeah, he, no fucks given on that. We've seen him do it before. <laughs> I mean, as a dancer, it's it's almost certainly the right thing to do. <laughs> Even yeah, with absolutely. these kills. Even with the Kaz and two kills, like there's a chance of being down men if he if he gets sent off for the foul, but I think he's still got to do it. No, oh, he boneheaded. Doesn't get oh. the trick. Oh, he did. He just got push. Okay, of course it's got stamp for that. <laughs> Stand firm and grab. I, I do see a lot of people taking grab first on a tree. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, he could have rerolled, couldn't he? He had he had the free re free reroll there. He yeah, absolutely could have rerolled. Um, yeah, gra grabs all right, isn't it? it? Helps you one turn. Like it helps you one turn. Obviously, if you root, you can keep somebody in contact with you while you're still hitting. Yeah, all the it's time. very nice for that. Very yeah. nice for keeping people in in contact. And yeah. you know, I don't need the guard as much as nearly all the other teams. Exactly. Yeah, he often ends in, he often ends up like in an isolated state or whatever, and then. Being able to grab, rooted and grabbing is is nice, and then the one turn grab as well. So he's, he's yeah, it is nicer than normal. But I still generally tend to go guard <laughs> first. Balls here, Pedro. Yeah, Wizard. it's off and away with the elves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the, the only things you can be super critical of were literally the two the two exact things that I said, which was, you know, in a game we've only got two mighty, when you've only got two tacklers, there's certainly an argument for it. Like, it was so early, though, that's the thing, right? If it happened late, but yeah. then again, obviously, you, you get more value out of using it early as well. Um, yeah. So it was turn one, it was a turn one KO. That's really good value. You, need, you could fail the KO as well, right? Like, it could stall out to turn eight, which is going to happen. And now, he's, it's 50-50. We even come back in the rest of the game, you know, potentially, um, before overtime. So, you know, there was... You're getting a lot of value out of that, potentially. Um, so, you, you know, I, I would have outboard it. But who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> um, and again, it's easy for me to see here who is for say easy for me to say it's not actually easy for me to physically say easy for me to think <laughs> <laughs> um while they aren't my players you know who could um he's going for the dodge foul absolutely they aren't my players who could actually die aren't they that's the thing right so like you'd feel really bad if you up or that ko and then they, someone got killed next turn or whatever so so like you know it's it's easy to say when you're just thinking about the match and you're not thinking about the players and you're not thinking about the future at all so that was one and then yeah I didn't like that blitz because he took, took his one tackle out of the out of the side of the player okay Ogre on tree again gets him this time and it's funny Pretty isn't smart. it because uh, I was going to say being able to use multiple rerolls in a turn might have helped Kaz there I don't think it would have done. The only thing he rerolled was the three dice on the ball, wasn't it? Which he rerolled it and it failed. And if he could have rerolled yeah. anything else, it wouldn't have mattered at all, really. He had he had pretty nice dice. It's just that again, as I say, the crucial situations. Oh, there you go. Oh. Now, now he gets a lovely apple here, doesn't he? Yeah. Apple that. Yeah. So now the not appleing yeah. looks looks quite good, especially if he gets this tackle back. So that's the thing, isn't it? Like you know, it's. You don't know what's going to happen. He does have mighty blow that he can hit with every single turn, so it's not like uh, it certainly wasn't an auto apple that tackle at all. Big KO rolls, only one chance. Doesn't get in. Tackler stays out. Oh no! Answer one stays one. out. Yeah. Aljul comes back. Interesting. Yeah. So he's down to one. He's down to one dancer, which is the which is the edge three one. <laughs> yes, it is. He's forced to field the one turner. But again, Kaz, can, Kaz has to cover both sides with one tackler. Um, you know, so I, it's rough, isn't it? It is rough only having the one tackle here. There's remarkably tackle life for humans actually. He must have had a blitzer die, I'm guessing, or one miss next game. There's only three blitzers. No, yeah, there's uh, only three blitzers, isn't there? There's only three blitzers on the field. No, there's a, there's a guard one, yeah. Yeah, so he's probably for... died. And he's, and he's probably died, seeing as he's called for fuck's sake, stop dying, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's now a very safe bet that uh, he has died at some point. More and more. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So yeah, you know, like that—that that really hurts having an undeveloped blitzer there because you really you're relying on the blitzers to carry you through this match, aren't you? Really, with them mighty blood tackle and stuff. 
Yeah, block tackle, not very exciting, Steve Marty, but mighty blow tackle, very exciting. And, uh, you know, you only had two mighty blow tacklers. So. So are we going to see the quick score from the Elves? We might do. 2 0 up, it's GG, isn't it? E yeah, almost. Pretty much. I mean, that's what you think is your, when you're Elves. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's only got, like, eight players left. Um. You know, this is like he doesn't. You know, he could try and dap or whatever, but I think you just bang it in and, and be happy with the, you know, almost certain win at two nil. But I mean, yeah. it's certainly not over at two nil, but almost over, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if as the humans, if they're gonna score, you've got to make them score in two or three at the most. You can't be letting them stall four or five if you need to score twice back. Yep. Then you need to score in two, and you get outstretched, and then you know. Woody's do woody things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, daka daka daka. Um yeah, what happened was there was a wizard. There was a wizard truck. Wizard Eldril. Ball sack. Recovery. And then Kaz got three dice in the ball. Didn't all the power. GG. <laughs> looks, like he's gone, looks like he's gone for the one turn. I mean the blitz here would be very interesting. God yeah, he does, doesn't he? But then he's not freeing up anybody like he's not hitting the ogre to do the one turn is he so I don't know what he, I don't know what he's doing <laughs> no um, yeah I'm slightly confused as to what he's doing <laughs> very good wolf very good keep them coming <laughs> Yeah, so he's, he's gonna, just going to push down the side, I guess. Nice that he gets hit the thrower as well, isn't it, on the way? He'll enjoy that, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe Calcium should have exposed him more. Um, if, he, he'd, if he'd put in, like, you know, if he'd swap where the dirty player was. Because he, he was always going to blitz these two, like one of these two players to make the space, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, these two are the obvious targets to blitz through. You could, I mean, you could go down the sideline. But, it, you know, then you've got to use guard or it's a bit trickier. Blitzing this guy doesn't get you anywhere, so you want the people he doesn't want to blitz here. And you really don't want him to blitz your thrower, because if he blitzes your thrower... Like, if he casts your thrower, you're fucked, aren't you? <laughs> or chaos me doesn't recover, whatever. So, yeah, that's maybe he's... Again, this is... this is. <laughs> I'm not being hypercritical, because I'm not, I'm not saying it's definitely wrong or anything. I think this is pure tactics from Sparky. He knows that uh, resetting up several times is one true way of getting to calcium. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got the option, though, hasn't he, Volpe? That's the thing, right? He's got the option, so he can just... If he wants to hit the thrower, he can. If he wants to hit the thrower for attrition, he can. If he wants to get the easier way through, he can. Easier way through, he can. So, oh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Here we go. Interesting. What is calcium? Yeah, I have an auger in your face. <laughs> Not as good as a blitz, but um, <laughs> might make it a little bit trickier. The one, the, the, the sadly, the one tackle is really hurting calcium now, isn't it? Really hurting him. This is basically like. Chaffs with one ball sent off. <laughs> I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what his plan was here with the two catchers central, the fast catcher back, dancer on the line. He is stalling, so now yeah. Alcim just gets to do this, just overload and get ready to, uh, to hopefully walk him down. Yep. I mean, that dance of match three, it could be huge this game. Exactly. It's yeah. hard, right? With only one. He's only got two... Two edge twos. Uh, two... Two players with dodge that can dodge on twos. Yeah, he's got Eldril as well, though, hasn't he? But, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, Eldril too. Um, and hello, Marcel. Yes, P. Diddy. He did either rap in. <laughs> yeah, yeah look, look, he changed. 
Imagine if he'd kept everything on here and then just got a big wall in front of him. So he, he got, you know, he's kind of lucky that, the, you know, he did hedge against the perfect defence at least a little bit. But yeah, I don't really know what his plan was, apart from to stall. I mean, that, yeah, it, stalling seems hard against humans. I would have, I would have probably been screwed by the perfect defence there, because I would have probably set up to blitz through. Either trying to cast the, uh, either trying to cast the the thrower or getting the more reliable ah, knockdown against the yeah. MP. Um, and I would have just tried to get the quick the quick two nil. I guess we'll find out his plan here. I'm guessing he's dropping D, but I think we're going to see the Daka here. Nope. <laughs> uh, see, I can I call it every time, don't I? I know exactly what's going on the blood ball pitch, me. <laughs> I mean it's sparky I don't know how you can how you can predict what he's going to do <laughs> yeah I mean he played it very conservative very wood elf like didn't he like you know yeah that's what I mean like his, his first two games he was just like rah rah I must go for the ball every single turn rah. yeah and then now he was just like no I'm just going to pretend I'm purple goo and just uh, calmly yeah. calmly defend sensibly and then oh I finally got a bit of a chance let's go so is Purple Goo a Wood Elf coach? He is, yeah. He's he's the more conservative kind of Wood Elf coach. Um, and then, you know, you've got like your end zones that are a bit more <clears throat> the ball sack. Um, you know, Calcium, very aggressive, isn't he, with Woodies? He, he, he goes for the ball sack very aggressively. Probably does when he's practicing martial arts as well. Restomp the groin. You know, I'm sure it's a classic staple in... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> in Calcium Door. <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah, with all the 14-year-olds uh, the that he's fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! And it was going to roll the two! Yes! <laughs> Fucking yes! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Sometimes Blood Ball is just wonderful, isn't it? Oh, and he fails his apple. Well, it stop the apple stops the perm. So if he gets to like the semi-finals or whatever, you'll have him back. He could go for the cage dive. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> I think Calcium just smashes oh, everything yeah. in his cage yeah. that he can. Oh he can. god! Yeah, I, I, I think he's true. I think he blitzes a non a non dodge player with not his tackle guy, and then you know brings the tackle guy back as a bit of a reserve, a bit of a sweeper, yeah. and just tries to base everyone up and and just keep Sparky rolling dice. And you know he's got to hope for overtime at this point, basically. I'd, yeah, you know, I think. and you know just two re roll buddies. Yeah, that's a, this, yeah, this key thing about the two tacklers, right? If he had two tacklers, he, he blitzes in with a pommer bases the ball or whatever, you know, and then he's got the other he's got the other tackler back. But now with only one tackler it's the tackler's putting more pressure on if you if you commit him, but then if you commit him you're completely exposed. And we've already yeah. seen him fail to roll a power on six dice. So it's <laughs> it's it's rough, isn't it? It's a rough uh, it's a rough situation. So he's going very conservative here, not even basing up like a mad ass. Um, I quite like it, just really squeezing him for space. Yeah, he can dacka though, can't he? This is the problem. He can, yeah. I wouldn't, I He's... wouldn't hit somebody a bit further around the back. Mm. This is less of a squeeze and more of like a gentle, a gentle touch. <laughs> Beware of calcium <laughs> gentle touch. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm replacing score already. I've gone bawdy. <laughs> PC's the worst for it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the natural thing here is now to just fucking duck the fuck away, isn't it, basically? Um... It is. So maybe, yeah, I don't know how useful... That lineman is there, but obviously he wants to go for the foul, so he does need to bring one more into that central position. Yeah, and again, this is another situation where I didn't really like the foul for my play style. I uh, 
I would have not liked fouling. Now now that you've got such a man advantage, now I think you save it for the good players, you know. Like, even if I had pl- played before like Ducky, I think, pl- you know, playing for the fouls early was, was right. But now I think, now that they're down to so few players, now I think you want to, you know... I, would have, I like tagging the guys, like tagging the loner, um, tagging the guys without dodge. You know, yeah. I think that has a lot of value. Um, this is brutal on turn 10, but I mean... I don't know what the answer is from Sparky. Like it doesn't look easy, does it? But I mean, he can run away and and get more oh. turns. Or he could gears. Is he just one D and then sideline cage? I guess he—that's what he's going to do. I mean, you can slot the catcher in. Split, but it's without tackle on a blodger. Just need a push, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just run all them down. Sideline cages. Bondi. But Bidley Boo should have followed. Because, yeah, I mean, GFI or Dodge is the same, isn't it? So, yeah. it. just follow. <laughs> just follow. you still got a GFI. <laughs> it's just less, less button clicks. So yeah, he gets him in front, gets him in there, and he's got the sideline cage. So, I mean, yes, but there's going to be an awful lot of humans in this cage by the end of next turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, like I mean, it's not good. Uh, it's not good, but it's about all he could do, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> and he's got yeah, leap. I mean, back, but I think he gets walked down at at some stage in the match. Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is probably better than running back, I guess. Yeah. Consider the six plus exactly. Last turn he could have had the five plus to hit the ball, right? But he only had the one tackler. So if he had the two tacklers, I wouldn't have hated keeping the keeping one back and then going for the five plus in last turn. But or I would have squeezed it more, you know, like he 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 didn't squeeze it that much and he did commit four players to this foul, which was a lot of players out. To be honest, it's not what I would have done. <laughs> you need to close off every avenue here. Yeah, and he just hasn't got that many players on the right side of the. Well, he hasn't got any players on the right side of the ball. But he hasn't even guard. got that many players on the right side of the action, has he? Yeah, guard catcher front middle. And then the other guard around the back. And then you've got 3D on that lead catcher. Got to think about the leap. He's got to think about the leap as well. So it is very tough. Oh, he's got leap. Shit. Yeah. Didn't even see that. He's just going for a screen again. Is he? Is he diving in? Nah, maybe he's just been two D. Just two D. I mean, he's got a tackle, right? Just two yeah. D to catch it. I just thought everyone was going to be in this cage by the end of the turn, like completely slamming in. I guess you're right, though, with them having leap. I was thinking because there's no dancer, there's no leap on the pitch. Yeah. I mean, I think that the, the, you've got to go, you've got to spread out, Truk. I think you've got to spread out because of the leap, right? If, if you didn't have leap, then yeah, absolutely, you pile in and like you double, double yeah. layer it and everything and everyone's in and it's tricky. But now it means he's got to go up and back down again, hasn't he? So I uh, don't like this from Calcium. Oh no, he's got no. this guy. No, I think he needed another player up here to to stop the run around. He also needs to put someone on on the front of Eldrill as well. Um, needs another one. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. He gets that. He, <laughs> he gets the double GFI to get that guy in that. So now this this move looks good now, right? Um, oh. I don't think it was worth the reroll to stand there. I do think it was worth the reroll to cut off Eldril a bit, like with a screen. You know, ta tag, yeah, exactly. I, I would have liked to have tagged this corner of Eldril with that guy. I thought that's what he was doing. Yeah, Eldril is free. I mean, it's still tricky, though, isn't it? Like, he's only got about five elves on the field. Yeah, five elves on the field. It's still tricky. I 
Uh, who would you gaze with Eldrill? That's a good question. That is the weak spot. I'd probably hit this catcher and try to try to power him. <laughs> um, and then see what happens. And if you power him, then you can then you can probably dodge through and uh, engage the tackler. You've got, you've got a ship push direction if you blitz the catcher. Oh, I, I, no, yeah, you see, because the thing is, if you, gaze, if you gaze this catcher, first of all, how do you even gaze him? Like, you have to dodge in on a 4+, plus and then gaze on a 4+. Plus. Gaze this one. And then... Then what? 2+, plus. One, two, three, four, five, oh no, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, he's got a lot of movement, hasn't he? <laughs> to be fair, he's got a lot of movement. Oh, he's failed. So what, he was going to leap to where the catcher is, maybe? I don't know. See, this is why I would have blocked the catcher first, right? I would have blocked the catcher first, See, see what happened. And then, if you power him, then you can probably gaze. You can probably dodge through and gaze this guy, but and then just run through easy. But if you don't, if you push him, then where does he sidestep to? And if he sidestep up here, then you could go for the. Yeah, he's going this way. Get him. Sidestep straight in front of him. Yes. Yeah, he's got to go on the diagonal. Oh no, Calcium. Oh no. no. He had to go I... there, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if Calcium was thinking about the follow when he yeah, did he's, that. He's just so fast, isn't he? Like, yeah. Uh... The, yeah, the, the follow just opened that situation right up. Yeah. Oof. Could have been a misclick, couldn't it? Could have been a camera move. It could have been anything. Yeah. But that was a, that was a, I think that was a big mistake that that sidestep direction. Rough. So six turns. He's going to score in two or three. Kill Morel. <laughs> the kills stay out. Um, both sides again. Yep. The catch is pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and so is Eldril, right? Eldril, Eldril's even though he didn't do anything, like having him there is good as well, isn't it? Like it did, it did help get the score with the uh, with the sideline there. Indeed, Truk, yeah, indeed it is, yeah. Indeed it is. It's de a lot harder when you're playing. Um, oh yeah, massively so. Way, way harder. I mean, Kelsey can still do this. He really wants to score in two, right? He's got, he's got the catcher. He's got the thrower. He can he, two catches. He can definitely score in two. Yeah. And then definitely have three turns to turn him over and score again. And he can definitely make a removal. He can blitz Eldril even here. Three, four, five, six, seven. He can just GFI and hit Eldril. Um, two, he gets four turns back. I mean, that's plenty of time. Uh, oh, God, yeah, I'm looking at Sparky. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. So two or three, three at the most. Yeah. Two would be ideal if if you can manage it. Um, like you say, try and kill a couple more elves. Oh. Well, I was right. <laughs> well, uh, hold it. <laughs> Psychic Jim. <laughs> not too deep to throw. Yeah. Yeah, not that bad a kick actually. Oh yeah, kick. Sorry. But, um, oh, I don't like putting them this far forward. I would have put them both at about the, you know, the eight square limit to make the pass easier. Yeah. Did you visualize and actualize? No, no, I did just look at Sparky's turn count. <laughs> um, but hey, another removal. 
Like he's really got to score in, in like he has to score in two now, doesn't he? Actualized, demoralized. Uh, could have counted squares and everything. Flip. If I blitz on Eldrill, two re rolls. To, he had to do the pickup first, I think. He should have counted squares here, shouldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two squares in front. So this is the square. He, sh he could have had the catcher on the catches on the square, which is exactly eight squares away. And then that yeah. means that it would have been a two plus pass. To get it to them now, it's going to be a three plus pass to get it to either. Yeah, he got a bit excited there. Or he's he? got to make GFIs that he's used a reroll on. Yeah. Which I do not like when you have to when you have to turn him over. So I would definitely not have gone the GFIs. I'd have just gone, you know, for the three plus pass. And if, yeah, if three plus work, pass, pass, pass is fine. It's what humans are used to. Yeah. Now there's too likely to use a reroll there for me. You know, you have turning over elves <laughs> and scoring against them in three turns, even when there's only fucking five of them. <laughs> yeah, probably going to take you a reroll or two. Um. So yeah. But that that does put him in within like a, a two plus pass now. If he, if this catcher doesn't get gazed or pushed back, of course he can gaze one as well. Another reason to have them further back was just so they'd be screened. Right now he can blitz one and gaze the other, and then neither of them can accept the pass. But he's just blitzing a random lineman instead. Because why wouldn't you? Strange decision, but okay. Not what I would have done. <laughs> I mean, you can put your side stepper on the other one. To be fair. Yeah, I would have. Step. I would have, side. What I would have done is <laughs> I would have put the fucking movement nine super catcher that you that you've got no apple against fucking calcium. <laughs> I would have put my movement nine sidestepper uh, you know like either blitzed with him or moved him somewhere. Um not in range of a tackle pommer. <laughs> <laughs> Barky doing the GFIs, trying to get dive and tackle on the ball. Yeah. Turning himself mean. instead. So now he just so he did gears, which elbow. I think is madness. You've yeah. got to gear there. Yeah. Either four plus and do it, or two plus four, or three plus and do it. You, you've got to do it. Yep. Pile on. Yeah, instant. And now, can he three dice that catcher? Maybe. I mean, not instant, but does get him. Um, can he? Can he 3D him? Oh, this is movement six, this mighty blow guy. Fuck. I mean, you can three dice him, just not with mighty blow. Yeah. That is a shame, isn't it? A tragic shame that he can't three dice him with mighty <clears> blow. <throat> Get him. Oh well. Two plus pass, three plus catch. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there you go, one in nine. Fucking humans, man. Ugh. Shit. And we saw enough of one in nines of uh, Calcium's first match, didn't we? Yep. Lots of them in that one. It wasn't the thrower this time. <laughs> yeah, that's. That's tragic, isn't it? Now it's really hard. Like, I don't think. Well, I think Sparky's going to put his fucking player in danger, but I don't think he should put his player in danger. Just accept that he's going to score next turn, and it's it's really hard to turn the Woodies over in two turns, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing, yeah. isn't it? The, the the one in nines are just like the bane of humans' existence, isn't it? It's why I never used them in the World Cup, even though I thought they were a powerful choice for the World Cup. I just thought I don't want you to have your fucking tournament resting on a one in nine, and like yeah. you've got a good chance of it. And your woodies actually went out to humans, didn't they? And they <laughs> the didn't kill their one in nine. Yeah, the uh, eventual you know, one. They had to make them. You forced them into making. Them. They also made 
a lot of removals I seem to remember from that game. They did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got banged on. Yeah. And he went you know, he, he went on to win the tournament and that like the humans were a powerful choice to the World Cup. They were everyone knew. Everyone knew they were the best team. Uh in later rounds Woody's would have caught up to them a bit, but but in the earlier rounds there was a bigger difference between them and the good teams. Yeah. Um and is that the tournament where the sage went for a bit of a mad and dead bill? Yeah, he went for his complete mad lad uh, necro team because they put them in like they put them in in a in a lower tier augmented beard. I think oh, I can't remember what it was. They were like maybe they were like maybe just tier two got loads of skills. I think they were either in tier three, which they should never have been in, or the or tier two got like a really good package. Right. So. Um, so it was one. It was one of those. Herp one dark. of those two base, options. Base, and it, base. And just, it, this won't fail. I am on the They were just clearly herp far herp better herp. than everything else. Um, in game one and two, and probably three. But then the, the like dark elves and that would have caught up. The tier one teams would have caught up to them um, as the tournament went on. But obviously, if you're not in the tournament, you can't catch up to them. So that's, yeah, that's true. Um, interesting one that. Um, can I ask you about that? Is it better to do two three pluses with auto rerolls or one three plus with your one reroll that you really don't want to use? That's a good question for probably match equity. He's, he, he, yeah, you're probably very much right to pick up and pass, yeah. Yeah, pick up and hand off, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's, that would have been better for probably match equity. Yeah. Yeah, second sequence better with a reroll only, and if you really don't want to use it, yeah. maybe you take that 9%, 10% loss in equity. Yeah, that's the thing for that. And again, that's another thing by using, by making those GFIs. Um, if he's got two rerolls, yeah, yeah, sure, Wolfpack, sure, but you know, you've got to turn him over now, haven't you? You've got to turn him over with no GFIs. Yeah, the GFIs. And again, it was because of the not counting the squares, presumably not counting the squares earlier and not having them on this, on rank eight or whatever, as Dio would call it. Um, and yeah. if his catch, and even then, he, I would have still just taken three plus pass anyway, you know, over, over the two GFIs. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Sparky's got two rerolls, Calcium's got one. He's got to, he's got to turn over Woody's in two turns. Without using a GFI, basically, or you know, using one GFI, uh, using one GFI, one that really has stayed out again. He has, yeah, he has stayed out the entire game, and it was on turn one. He could have had a mighty blow, a, a bludge guard, mighty blow tackler for the entire game using the apple. Oh, and he even gets a quick snap so he can clear his line. Oh, that's brutal. That is horrendous. Not even having to roll. Like you'd have, re he would have re-rolled these anyway. Yeah. But it's still annoying it's that the one in thirty six so isn't here. It's still something. It's just one square further away. Oh, or not. No, suddenly that movement eight. Get it, problem, Bubba. Yeah, not he's still in the corner. He, he could, he could keep them out as a screen, or he could just run them all back. Like whatever he does, he's gonna stay in the corner, isn't he? And now. Or he could stay in the yeah. middle and then run to either corner. That's that's better, isn't it? Just run everyone completely back. Yeah. There was no need to go to this corner. He could have just literally stayed at the back and then gone to either corner. And now Calcium, you know, would have had to try and stay, you know, try and cover both corners. I guess he can just run away from this corner at the other side. Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, hello, Calcium. Uh, I'm coming in now because, uh, yeah, it's done. Um, it's one of them, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously disappointed, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with my run. You know, yeah. it's been, it's been a good run. Um, yeah, uh, the sidestep is going to haunt me. Um, don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even consider the follow-up, if I'm honest. I, I was, I was thinking about so many different things, like the, you know, defending against the leap, etc. Um, I just, yeah. I just plain forgot about the follow-up, and it was a stupid move. The moment I did it, I'm thinking, oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's it's one of them. Um, as I say, I should take a... I should be pretty... Hey, it's not over-over, is it? I guess I could do some 
miracle shit here, but it's not looking great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that's fine, you know. Um, so was my cock. It's a game of Blood Bowl, and I, I, you know, I'm happy to have got this far um, with my 30, 30 game humans. So. Uh, yeah, you've played well in the tournament. You've played well in this match. It, uh, it just didn't go your way. Just, it just comes down to little mistakes, doesn't it? You know, um, little mistakes here, little mistakes there. Um, I don't even feel that hard done by this game. Um, the riot was brutal. Um, the fireball and, you know, the ball recovery was pretty brutal. The 6D um, sort of attempt was brutal. But, you know, yeah, I've not had horrible horrendous dice um yeah and the thrower the the um gfi with the throw was stupid <laughs> i i i again do you know what something in my brain said I've, I've got to get up I've got to get up pitch got to score as quick as possible and didn't count fucking yeah fucking blood bowl 101 in it um you know well you've it's got a chance here haven't you Goes out the window a bit, doesn't it? Uh, like that's all right, isn't it? Trying to. Yeah. Well, he's given me a was a four plus five plus with dodge. Yeah. 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 Um. So it could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it could be. A, that's yeah, that's I've seen far. Worst could be, it well. could be, could be friggin' better. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's that was just. This is just wrong, isn't it? This is just wrong. He should have, he should have been on the number twenty-four. This line, man. this is just wrong. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh well. Four five is worse than a six. That was. Yeah, he gave you a chance. Well, I, I thought, I thought he was. Go he should have put his diving tackle. Uh, next to the ball carrier, shouldn't he? And then that would have negated. I would have needed a hard six then, wouldn't I? So, um, but anyway, congratulations to Sparky. Um, I played him a couple of times over the last day or so in CCL, and we've wrecked each other's chaos teams, which is always good for the rest of the division. Yeah, um, <laughs> thank you very much for that. <laughs> but no, um, I think he probably played slightly better than me there, if I'm honest. You know, um, a lot's gone on in the last few days, and I can't say I was relishing looking forward to playing this. Um, you know, um, I, I guess I don't particularly like being under the microscope as much as I've been, if that makes any sense. So and that's a bit weird coming from a guy that streams semi-regularly, you know, um, because you, you by definition put yourself under the microscope. But I've always been the kind of streamer that not a lot of people expect a lot from, you know, um, in terms of achievement. And I, I guess people watch me because of my personality more than my achievements you know and that's um but yeah so i haven't enjoyed being under the microscope um i think that you know i don't know it's going to make me rethink the way i talk about people in blood bowl i think um and we, you know so um retro just came down to me and said um oh you know um they're saying you made a huge mistake on that catcher and i did and that's fine isn't it you know, um, pointing out people's mistakes and, and stuff is fine. But there's a line, you know, and, yes. <laughs> and I, I, I felt that line's been significantly crossed um, over the last few days. And I'm, I'm really unhappy about it. But, you know, it doesn't matter, does it? Well, don't worry, um, Carlson. We love you on this channel. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, thank you very much. And you, you know me well enough, Jim, to know that you know, I'll be the first person to own up to my mistakes. I've never hidden behind, um, you know, I've never doubled down and said, well, I did this because and break out the stats and dode math and everything else. You know, if I make a mistake like that, you know, allowing him to score the way I did was catastrophic, wasn't it? I think that was single-handedly the biggest mistake I made in the game. And if I hadn't done that, if I'd stepped away and blocked his jump path, then I may have stopped him. You know, yeah. but um, and maybe like you would have only added some twos. Like he had, he only made one GFI to score, so he still had two GFI. So it's not like you would have forced proper hard dodges. I don't think. I think he might have been able to dodge. No, I don't know. I don't know where the tackler was. Mm. Yeah. Um. Do you know what? Um. So I had a decision early on about Apo in my KO'd 
tackler. And oh, how many times, how many times have we appoed, uh, power appoed players, only to see the rest of your team get torn to shreds? You know. <laughs> 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 exactly what you said. Exactly what you said. And I, so I thought to myself, I really should be Apo in this. But you know what's going to happen. So that mighty blow war dancer was causing me no end of shit. Like you know, what is it with mighty blow on war dancers? It's significantly more powerful than any other mighty blow in the game, isn't it? You know, it's crazy. It's like really mighty blow. You know, but um. <laughs> But yeah, so I wasn't sorry to see that guy MNG. You know, I wish Sparky all the success in the next round. He's going to need it against um, Mr. Page's team. <laughs> He's going to need it. <laughs> but Wood Elves and Wizards, and I'm I'm gonna yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna miss. I'm, I'm really gonna miss Wizards so much from the 2020 rule set in their current guys. It's yes. just and so was my it's bullshit, isn't it? It's absolute bullshit. You know, and before people start saying, oh, well, that's a bash coach talking, I'm really glad piling on's going as well. <laughs> I'm actually really pleased about that. Um, you know, it will stop a lot of people crying. And yeah, do you know what? <laughs> it is OP, isn't it? It's OP. It is, yeah, it is. And, so, uh, yeah, congrats, Sparky and chat. I mean, you know, like obviously there's yeah. made no secret of the fact we're Team Calcium here, but, you know, nothing against you at all. Congrats to you. Yeah, well um, played, Sparky. I thought you'd played that first half really solidly. Really yeah, um, the wizard was uh, the wizard was brutal. When I, I knew I was, I knew I had to re-centralize. I knew being on a sideline is a bad idea against Wood Elves. Um, to be honest, driving up a sideline is a bad idea. Full stop. So I knew I had to centralize. I knew. So I did think about an extended cage, and I thought, ah, do you know what? I'm I'm going to go with a Venger bus instead. Um, but you know the fireball. You know, and uh, to be honest, Sparky made his dice rolls. You know, at the end of the day, if elves, if elves make their dice rolls, you're gonna have a bad day, aren't you? You're just yeah. gonna have a bad day. And yeah, I, I can't true. remember him failing anything significant the whole game. And that's not to say he didn't play well, because he really did. You he, know, did. Uh, <laughs> he did fail a one. He did fail a one in a, a one in nine dodge with his dancer. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So that when I say he didn't fail anything significant, yeah, um, yeah, that that was. Um, by then, actually, the damage had been done. And no, yeah, sure, it didn't affect the result. Yeah. It, it affects him, though. He's missing the dancer in the next round, isn't it? But it was... Couldn't help but enjoy it, that. Just because he was edge-busted, it was just funny that he rolled a two. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant that it was a, that it was a two. Like, if he double one it, fair enough, but it was amazing that it was a two. Um, yeah, I wanted to do a two. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, by then, um, I'd sort of consigned myself to my fate. Um... But my dice weren't bad, were they? I've got no complaints. No, um, yeah. At the end of the day, I think Sparky didn't do anything wrong at all that game. Um, anything really wrong? There were, there were some things I'd do different, but I don't think he did anything wrong. You know? No, not at um, all. Not at all. And as I said, as I said before, I think he played a little bit better than me. Not not massively better. It wasn't a one side. I don't think it was a one sided drubbing. You know? But um, yeah, I, as I say, I played him a couple of times. Um, and I, 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 yeah, the last few days I've been in the worst mood for Blood Bowl. I don't even know why I'm playing it at the moment. I'm going to have a couple of days break now. And um, I haven't sort of, I, I, it's starting to make me question my own conduct here a little bit. You know, maybe come Blood Bowl 3, I want to be a little bit more welcoming to people instead of this sort of great white shark persona, you know, <laughs> poaching on, poaching on shitters. You know, um, I, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to be that type of Blood Bowler anymore, to be honest. So uh, I'll still play competitively, but you know I, I don't want to be jumping up and down on people that make the slightest mistake in a game that's largely dictated by dice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the whole and I was never a fan of the whole shit thing, to be honest. It's uh, there's no. It's, it's really it's. We all forget, don't we? We all forget that there's a human being at the other end of this computer playing this game as well. Purple Chest really is really eloquent when he talks about this and. Yeah, I'm, and I'm as guilty as anyone, Jim, of that. You yeah. know, I'm probably more guilty than most people. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, all I but I, I can't change what I've done. I, I can change the way I behave in the future, and uh, you know, so um, yeah, maybe a slightly less angry, less uh, toxic calcium cats <laughs> for Blood Bowl Three. <laughs> maybe I should change my name to Calcium Kitten or something in Blood Bowl Three. You know. <laughs> But, but 
as ever, um, Jim, Flicky, thank you very much. Um, you know, I love you both uh, loads and loads. And I, I genuinely value being a t member of Team Fantastic. I think you have the best community in Blood Bowl. Um, and you are the Don. So on that note, I'm going to go. Thank you very much. And Stop I'll catch up with you soon. Absolute pleasure, man. Ah! Thanks for uh, letting me on with you. Thank you very much, Flicky. Thank you very much, Kaz. Cheers, Jim. See ya. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.